In this video, I wanna discuss how long it actually took me to put together my business plan to actually executing and moving forward on that business plan to it actually came to fruition. And I'm going to discuss that more in depth because it was a question that was brought up from one of the subscribers on this channel. And I do want to make this video to help encourage you guys to help inspire. So therefore, if you're willing to hear how it all came to be and to where I'm at today, I'm gonna to go ahead and discuss that in today's video, so make sure to stick around. What is going on, everyone? I hope you're all doing well. If you're new here, my name is Serge. Welcome to the channel. To all my reoccurring viewers, thank you so much for all the love and support that each and every single one of you have shown me. And if you have not yet, make sure to go check out the God Made Podcast on most streaming platforms. Also, feel free to go check out Legion Assisted Living Academy, where I teach how to start your own facility from A to Z. Also, if you are interested in booking a one-on-one -on -one, a mentorship call with myself or actually spend a full day and book that, you can do that at legionassistedlivingacademy.com or the links down below. Also, if you are a passive investor or a limited partner who wants to invest into this space alongside Valley ALF Ventures, the syndication firm that I own and operate with my partner, uh, feel free to do that as well. Or if you are looking to expand your operations and to multiple locations and are looking to partner, make sure to reach out to us at valleyalfventures at gmail.com. And if you are trying to do any type of placements in the Phoenix Metro Valley or looking for a loved one, feel free to reach out to us. And now that the housekeeping is all done, let's go ahead and jump into the topic of this video. So I did get a question from a subscriber on this channel and the subscriber is at 19yuna94 and they had asked, hey Serge, how long did it take you, how long did it take from you deciding to start your own business to actually having one going? I'm slowly getting there but having a hard time initiating due to fear of failure and all. Thank you for all the videos. Well, thank you so much for all the support. And to answer your question, um, the first time that I actually kind of came up with the idea to go ahead and come out to Phoenix to start uh, the very first facility that I started out in Mesa, Arizona, which is the five bed that initially started all of this. So I was in nursing school and I was working a shift at the hospital and one of the colleagues that I was working with, him and I would always uh, discuss just different things, real estate, businesses, et cetera. And he brought up the idea of doing assisted living. And so this was in the summer of 2017 and I so happened to know somebody who was already doing this locally back in Missouri and where I was going to school and where I was raised the majority of my life. And when I approached this individual, you know, at the time they weren't ready to bring me on um, after I finished nursing school to manage any of their facilities. And so therefore I said, all right, well, let me go ahead and just pray on this, go ahead and put this before God and just think more about it. And God led me out here to Phoenix, Arizona about two months from graduating. Um, I was just had this instinct to come out here and this intuition to come out here and check out a couple facilities. And so this was in November of 2017. And then I ended up moving out, out here in Arizona in January of 2018. So two months from when really I was like, okay, I'm going to go ahead and potentially start this business. And so I finally came out here in January of 2018. And when I, prior to me coming out during my Christmas break, right before graduation, I actually came down here, visited, like I said, a couple facilities and I toured a couple. And I just so happened to run into somebody that knew of this empty vacant facility that once used to be a five bed facility and it currently still had an active license. So really what I had to do at the time was just do a change of ownership, but I didn't know this, but that's what I was supposed to do. And instead I ended up having to completely shut down that license. So with that being said, I said, oh, let me go ahead and lease this property from this landlord because they were willing to lease it out um, as an assisted living. So. I went ahead, signed the lease, and started the whole licensing process from zero on that five bed facility. 
and I really didn't know what I was doing the first three months I was there. So from January to March, I had no idea. I had somebody who had helped me find this location who was supposed to be mentoring me and I had paid them to help me kind of go through the licensing process as a behavioral facility. And I ended up getting scammed, which is a whole completely different story, but I ended up getting scammed. And when I realized this three months into working with this individual, I ended up having the Department of Health Services show up at my door and do a complaint survey or a complaint inspection. And at that meeting at the home, that's when they told me, come into our offices, we'll guide you the way you need to be guided, we'll tell you what you need to do next. And so I ended up going down to the Department of Health Services office and working everything out with them and finally getting on the path of licensing the home as an assisted living. It's a crazy story, but to give you guys some perspective, I ended up finally getting my license in May of 2018. So I moved out there, I had, I've had been paying rent for five months with no type of revenue. I was in the red every month for five months and it should not have taken me that long to get that home actually up and running. If I would have known what I was doing and what I know today, right, in hindsight, all I needed to do was a change of ownership from that active license that was on the home that I was already leasing to a new license, and that would have taken 30 days. So that is why it's important to hire and work with people and take mentorship from people who know what they're doing and have credibility, right? When you work with somebody or you're looking to bring them on as a mentor, as a consultant, whatever the case may be, ask them what they've done, what their experiences have been, what roadblocks are they gonna help you avoid? And to answer the question for the subscriber, it probably took me about eight to nine months from when I knew I was gonna do this to finally getting licensed. So that just kind of gives you guys an idea of how long it's gonna potentially take you guys to get up and running from having the idea to finding a location to finally getting licensed. And then I placed a client fairly quickly after I got licensed because of all the marketing I was doing prior to me getting the license from when I submitted the application to when I got licensed, all I was doing was marketing locally with a bunch of different individuals who were in the space of hospices, home health, et cetera, everything I teach when it comes to getting your home prepared and marketing to get the right people in your home at your open house to be able to bring you a client. And so with all that being said, it was a very stressful time for me during those first five months because the first three, after I realized I was getting scammed, it was very demoralizing. It was very hard mentally, spiritually. And there were a lot of moments of doubt, a lot of moments of where I felt like I could not keep going. And I genuinely could not keep going financially. I was literally at rock bottom at that point. And I really had a thousand dollars left to what I, I had in my budget um, before I really had to give up and vacate the property. And that $1,000, what I did was I ended up going and getting my manager certification where I met somebody that could help guide me through the licensing process. And they, through God's help and through God's mercy, they were willing to just assist me and get me through that process. And so that is why it's important to not ever give up on yourself and to continue to persevere because God will bring the right people, the right relationships, the right individuals into your life who will help fast track certain aspects. And God really did humble me through that process. It, it really taught me a lot of things about myself. It taught me resilience. It taught me perseverance. It taught me that no matter how bad things get, it's all gonna be okay, but you can't give up. And don't get me wrong, there are times where you need to pivot but there's not times where you just give up, right? And so when I finally got licensed to finally being full, you know, it, it was probably a good 
good month or so before I was full from when I got licensed in May of 2018. And so I started this channel in, I believe, August or September of 2018. I wanna say it was September of 2018, after I had my home full, after I had gone through all this just really hard period to get that first home up and running. And I did have other situations that came up, you know, after the fact it just wasn't always great and dandy afterwards. Um, obviously having going through COVID in 2020 and having the facilities and, you know, employees and all kinds of stuff, you know, that was a whole nother challenge within itself. But hopefully that answered the question for this individual and hopefully it gives you guys some perspective on how things are gonna really be in the beginning. One thing, doing something differently, like I mentioned, is working with somebody and a consultant and a mentor who can really help fast track you and get you through those those times where, you know, if you're gonna be starting something, hiring them and paying them is well worth it and it's gonna save you a lot of headache and a lot of time that you otherwise are gonna end up spending um, one way or the other, right? The money that I had forked out during that period that I had no clients, had no idea what I was doing, could have easily paid for the right mentor and consultant who would have just told me, hey, go through the child process, here's what you need to do. In 30 days, I would have been up and going, right? I would have been licensed, I would have been able to get things going. So that's just to give you guys some perspective on why it's so important to really work with individuals who know what they're doing. And if that's me and you guys wanna reach out and if you're here locally in Phoenix and want to hire me for the day, come spend the full day with myself and I can guarantee you there's gonna be a lot of things that you're gonna learn just spending a full day going through a lot of different facilities that I have um, and getting to ask me any types of questions you may have or if you can't do it locally and you wanna do the course or book a one-on-one -on -one mentorship call, go ahead and feel free to do that as well. And that is why I offer those services because it does help a lot of people and it gets them through situations that they otherwise, you know, wouldn't have to go through if they would just book a call, right? So with all that being said, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, make sure to go check out Legion Assisted Living Academy com. Also feel free to check out valletlefventures.com and I will definitely continue to give you guys more content and I appreciate all the love and support. God bless.